both. Now this was this was a tough matchup for Lucario, according to most people in Smash Four. Oh yeah, it was really bad. Uh, Ding Dong so mostly bad. gone. Uh, I've heard it still exists in niche situations. It's certainly less of a it, consistent more of, kill confirm. It's more of a damage thing now, honestly. Right. But what makes the matchup so bad, is aside from the Ding Dong, is that DK is just so damn heavy. He does not want to die, and he and right. he wants to blow up that rage. And once he grabs you, man, like it is scary. And the I think the biggest issue, or at least one of them for Lucario, is always how long he can stay alive, just percent wise, regardless of you know. Like, if you have consistent kill power, but it doesn't work till late, then it's a problem because Lucario's going to be very powerful. Mm -hmm. But Lucario is a much better character at 0% than he's ever been. Oh, and yeah. I think that's the big thing they changed about Lucario is Aura's still there, uh, but Lucario at 0% is actually a character you have to fight now. Yeah, it's not really and like... he wasn't necessarily the worst in Smash 4, but he was pretty bad. And now the, uh, they've made him yeah. much, much more, more effective without Aura. Yeah, definitely, because um, in this game, it's like they made his uh, low percent aura combos stronger and his later combos like weaker, so it, it balances right. out more scales, you know, much better than yeah, how it should have been. Yeah, Aura's down is more, more of a balanced character in general, uh, but they, he still kept, keeps the, the mechanic that makes him unique. So I think he did a great job with the new Lucario. I think he's a really interesting character now. Um, and I'm just noticing DK Dan opting for the DK instead of the Wolf. Yeah, he's going DK. With that big back air. Get him with the back air. The banana slimmer. Is that his forward air? That move, I, I think it's all of his moves if they hit you hard <laughs> yeah, enough. Yeah, right? That's, it's just, it just depends on how hard they hit you. Yeah, and this is uh, where <laughs> this is where Lucario really struggles. He's at low percent. DK yeah. has rage. That was almost an SD. That could have been really big. They, they did make it a little better for Lucario, though, when he hits his head on the stage. Uh, he's able to bounce up and grab ledge just a little bit in That's situations good. where in Smash 4 he would have just died. That move's really big now. That is huge. Forward Smash looks like like Brawl with Max Aura. <laughs> but that's just like that's just how big it is. It's it's pretty wild. Also, have you seen the zoom in on side B? <laughs> oh, he like, like it just brings his hand around like town KO and punch punches does. you. Not even like doesn't even have to be for the end of a game. Like the game just zooms <laughs> in on side B when he hits you. I know. It's great. The zooms are so cool. Oh, I love it. That's getting a so lot of damage. That is really scary. 15% and climbing. Let's see Ooh, what back air right there. can capitalize off of this one. Back air. So Lucario does still have his combos out of uh, Aura Charge. They're uh, a bit different, obviously, because it's a different game. Yeah, different but game, yeah. Same premise in a lot of ways. Uh, that move's really big now, the Shockwave on the ground. Yeah, it looked, uh, covers, looked covers much bigger. Chases. All right, man. Very scary situation. We're back in the same position we were first stock. Let's see if VB can make the uh, adaptations needed. But ooh, the punch to the face. Just Get him out of here. That's banana right slammer, there. dude. <laughs> yeah, it, it's any move as long as it hits you hard enough. That one hit him hard enough. Um, so yeah, great, great punch right there. And the double team. From DK Dan, the double team not quite gonna kill. Not the strongest counter in the world, but not hit by the strongest move either. Good edge guard right there. Mm -hmm. Down yeah. there, getting the hit and send him away. Yeah, very cookie cutter edge guard. I like it. Stay, stick to the basics if you have to. You don't gotta do all that fancy stuff. They, they gave him his old range back on Smash Attacks. This is pretty <laughs> wild. <laughs> Up throw forward airs. Up throw fair nair right there. Uh, neutral air still with two hitboxes, but they look a lot more. They just look a lot better. They look like they actually, like, <laughs> he love, has two hitboxes, you know? Yeah, it, it couldn't always sell in Smash 4. <laughs> Not gonna find that tech chase there, just tech missing chase. the mark slightly. This is a very close game right now. Yeah, every stock has just been down to the very last oh, percent. Accidentally burns the punch right there. Gonna, ooh, ooh, down smash, not quite down gonna smash kill. roll read. That up tilt will kill if he gets the sweet spot now. 100%, yeah, that move is, it was as strong as his down smash in Smash 4. Yeah. That was ridiculous. <laughs> not <but>. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scary. I think the the has got a shook. Oh, just a little late on that tech chase. Had the right idea. And we're getting to the point where Lucario's aura makes that sound. Yeah, it sounds like a truck. Oh, this is so scary. The back air oh, just yeah, hit the mark. Just off on the back air. We're, we're not gonna see the little um, zoomed animation, but with that DI, it looked like it was gonna kill. Yep. So great game one right there. Back and forth the whole way. Mm -hmm. uh, and DK Dan gonna take it. Bans FD there. These are two characters that I wouldn't like to fight on FD, so that's understandable. Yeah, definitely agree with you. <laughs> And probably, like, probably less so even for DK now that he doesn't have Ding Dong anymore. Oh yeah, 100%. I would, I would probably so ban. I think that's a good ban. I would always ban um, FD versus um, uh, Lucario, not because I was uh, zero suit main, just because like he but has. But also because uh, you're zero suit main. <laughs> it's also zero suit main. <laughs> uh, so he's banning uh, FD and Kalos. We're just gonna run it back mm -hmm. to PS2. If only we had the Steven theme on, man. That should be like a rule. 
There's a lot of good Pokemon music. I know, I'm so dude. excited we get Pokemon music so much now. I know. I, I love, love Pokemon, Pokemon music. music. I love Pokemon in general, dude. That's how I love that's how right. I play trainer. Playing Pokemon trainer. Right. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, so, we're going to run it back. Let's see what Vivi can do differently. He looked like he was really confident in whatever he's, what he was doing. Just seemed like he was so... Like, so like a, a few frames off for he, what he wanted. He just missed a couple of tech chases on the third stock that probably would have finished off the game. Oh, yeah. So certainly that game could have gone either way, and he knows it. So just running it right back. Uh, knows he can make it a little different this game. Yeah, but DK Dan, man, don't fix it if it ain't broke. Just stick to stick to the roots if you have to. Did they just take all the lag off DK's dash attack? <laughs> took a lot of lag it's, off everything. <laughs> it's pretty, like, yeah, I, I understand that. <laughs> but specifically that move, I was, I was watching Xanadu last night and seeing Rags just dash attack into people's shields and... Not get punished. Like, I don't know. Wow, are, you, are you sure? <laughs> Oof. Oh, almost gets shield break. Yeah, almost with the, the headbutt right in the shield. Grab. Not gonna find the ding dong. That's a. That, I think that was a 50 50. I'm not too sure. But at a percent now, VV capitalizing with this rage. All right, man. That was cool. That was pretty cool. Oh, oh, we're gonna oh do it again. Okay, get a third. So, so we get a fourth. Keep in mind, he's gonna do this six times. He's gonna back off. Uh, oh. Remember, you can only grab the ledge six times now. Yeah. So you cannot do those infinite loop edge guards without eventually landing back on stage, or you <laughs> will eventually just not grab the ledge. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So that's that's an numbers. important thing to keep in mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, shield just break! Broke his shield. This that's going to be a stock. Oh. I, I want to see people charge for the full three seconds when they break a shield now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if your opponent's not that. mashing, I, I want to see dude. people just. I am, I am ready. I am going to punch you, and it's going to hurt. Oh, that did so much damage. Down it. Not going to find the down. I love the movement. The fast oh, again, a zero to roll. death coming out from Vivi. He turned up, man. Welcome to Aura, ladies and gentlemen. Caillou Ken, level three. Finally going to take his first like, stock. Oh, but no more of that. <laughs> a a two-stock to one lead for Vivi now. Um, the way this matchup works, it is never over, but certainly a very big lead right now for Vivi. Yeah, man. All right, Vivi, he had that momentum. I want to see, I want to see him keep it going, man. It looks like he's not stopping. I saw the dare to break out of that combo right there. Uh, dare frame four in Smash 4. I don't know if that is the same, but it certainly is close to that. Uh, it's very fast. Very good combo breaker. Also shifts his hurt box up just a little bit. Nice. That Nair had zero lag on it. Nair to the fair block string. Gonna find a confirm. DK Dan looking like he's in a struggle right now. And this Smash? Is, ooh, nice. Not quite gonna kill, but huge damage for Vivi here. And this just goes to show how important the first stock is in Lucario matches. Oh yeah, 100%. We saw, we saw DK Dan take the first stock and then start to run away with it even though Vivi made it a very close game, game one. Oh, and that is another one. It. There it is, there and it is. And then here we saw Vivi take the first stock and immediately zero to the death zone. Yeah. Is it me or like, does the game not pick up pace until the first stock is gone? It depends on the matchup, I think. Yeah. But <laughs> in some matchups for sure, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I play Olimar. I don't really care about pace. You, you never really. Pace is not pace is like my whatever. friend, but it's not my enemy. It's, I don't care about it. It's, it's it more of a Queens, honestly. Yeah. It's, you want to you keep it there? But. It exists if I really <laughs> want to up smash. That move is lag with dude. Oh, my God. So good. All right. Going to go to Lila. I can see why the counter pick. Uh, he's going to have the assistance of triplats and not to mention the tilting, which it looks like it might hurt Lucario more because, like, the stage is tilting and Lucario has to make a straight shot angle. So I can't believe y'all have the stage legal. Anyway, I'll show about that like now. So oh, it has resort off. That's right, no tilting. Yeah, it doesn't tilt. It's still, I, for, I, for, still, I haven't seen, I, I haven't seen know, one game play a lot of so today. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, you know. Anyway. It's Lilat, but like better. The counter pick is Lilat. Uh, it is better. Yeah, for sure. Um, and we are, we are seeing uh, similar low percent strings here to start this off. Vivi's movement still very good. Lands with an air there. Safe on shield. I love the dare out of shield there. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't lead to any guaranteed follow-ups in that situation with no aura, pretty low percent, but it certainly gives Vivi a good good situation and just gets him out of any sort of shield pressure. <laughs> good grab right there. Yeah, nice. I'm liking the Spacing advantage away. state. Uh, Vivi, Vivi is just holding advantage so freaking well right now. And I think DK Dan uh, trying to shield grab all these neutral airs, mm -hmm. uh, which you could do in Smash 4. <laughs> Yeah, this you pressure, can't. this pressure coming out from Vivi is just so freaking good. His movement's looking really solid right now. Yeah, and Vicky Dan is Ooh, capitalizing so well. The counter though. That double Beautiful team, up man. smash. He caught the right one. He saw Lucario. He was yep. like, all right, clip clap. <laughs> and that was, that was such a great read because Vivi hasn't even been using that very much. We've only seen it like twice all set. Yeah, all he had to do was uh, he, posi he positioned himself so well. Yeah. Yeah. Drops through the flat, gets under the platform. Gets ready with the up smash. Maybe yeah. he'll tie it up. Not but having any of it, dude. DK Dan was way down the first stock. He ties it right back up with that one good conversion. Mm -hmm. It just depends on how many like openings DK Dan can find like that, because that was so big for him. 
And that can go the other way as well. I mean, we saw DK Dan take a big lead first stock last game, and Vivi got the shield break at 60. <laughs> uh, Truth, bro. So this is a very volatile matchup, as, as many Lucario matchups are. Oh, yeah. And, yeah I can uh, definitely advocate These for that. two still going super close here. All right, man. Vivi going to play it safe like he has to. And DK, I like how DK Dan is not trying to punish that Naren shield anymore. It looks like he just can't find an answer to it. So I would he's love to see him try to parry it. Yeah, I know. Parrying is like so new to us that like yeah. it, once it's flushed out, I feel like the game will be like at its peak. You know? I think it's such a cool mechanic. Oh, but it's it awesome, is gonna yeah. take a while for everyone to to get used to it. Yeah, because you have to drop it like you have to drop your shield before the uh, move. Yes. Like it's, it's weird. And it is it is you know a brave soul who is willing to drop their shield four frames before a DK forward smashes you. <laughs> I oh. love DK's new cargo throw animations. They're so good. I know it's like it, it really brings you back to his games where he would like pick up uh, Princess Peach like that. I've seen yeah. in the trailer. Ooh, the back air. The back Gonna seal out that stock there. Up. DK See, Dan down to his last stock here. Yeah, Vivi, like, with the, he's got really crisp movement. That's what it's been, really crisp movement all set. And his movement was so good in Smash 4 already, and now Lucario with so many more movement options, plus some extra moves that are safer on shields. They took what was good and made it even better, dude. Yeah. Right. Good up tilt anti-air there, though. Yeah, the anti-air. Catches uh, Vivi jumping in again, and that's really the counterplay to the Nair on shield, is don't be shielding. Just hit him first. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> Works out there. I want to see Vivi. I know it's a side beast so badly, dude. But the Ooh, back air works too. exploding in his face. Oh my god, you saw it? how big that was? <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> That's enormous. Oh, man. 2-1 to Vivi. Those are, those are two characters I really like watching. That was a really fun set. That was a ton of fun, though, yeah. Um, and after a uh, very close game one, Vivi really starting to figure Ooh. things out. And great back air to close things out right there. So Vivi moving on in winner's bracket. Um, and I have to go play a match, so I will see you guys later. I see.